Welcome people to another video and today we're going to be drawing something from a podcast I really like that's called Nerdcast. It's a Brazilian podcast and they do this thing that they where they play a RPG game based off uh, the Call of the Cthulhu games. And there's this scene there I want to draw and let's draw this right now, right? Um, but I guess let's go to something more comfortable, right? Wow. Hmm. Would you look at that? Let's get into the drawing then, shall we? I start off by taking the thumbnails that I made and then amplifying them to cover the whole image. Then after that I start doing sketches to better define each and every character and then prepping them for the line art that's gonna prepare them for the mask and get ready to color. The scene I'm going for here is making all the characters in this tunnel that high up from the floor and they are firing at some Nazis that are below them in a round room while they light up a lightning bolt to deflect the evil forces that are coming out from the book. I think that the color differences that I want to make from the blue to the orange are gonna complement each other really well. In the podcast, they were in this tunnel because they were trying to destroy the book, but they ran into the Nazis, and the only way that they continued their journey was by confronting them. After I finished getting all the masks done in each and every character, they are ready to color. I start now by drawing the background and all the soldiers in it and making it all detailed and defined. After the background is all ready and properly masked and ready to color, I'll start by going back and then coloring where the main characters are in this drawing and start off by the edges that are these rocky formations. Now I'm going to start coloring this Faraday character that is, by the idea is that is he's in a dark area and there's this blue light shining so I'm going to make all the light uh, and all the primary colors blue and to reflect that this is the only source of light in the area. With the next character, I start by adding all the dark colors first, then that helps me get a better sense of what the lighter colors would do with the character. So by adding later the light, it mixes and matches and blends better than, than if I added the bright spots first and then the shadows. The characters that are farther away from the main light source of this tunnel, they're gonna be less affected by it, so therefore their colors are not gonna be as strong of a blue tint but they're gonna mix more with their natural colors and more with the colors that are coming out of the tunnel. Now that all the characters in the foreground are done it's time to move to the background where I'll start to color all the soldiers. I looked at photo references to make sure that the uniforms from the soldiers are gonna be as accurate as possible. After I finished coloring the soldiers I start by coloring the whole background starting off with the statues and the Nazi flag and then coloring the whole thing with the dark brown and then adding the light sources from the torches to create the mood and to create that orange feeling that I mentioned earlier. In this stage of the drawing it's finally time to finish and wrap up everything so now I start by shading everything and texturing and also doing the ambient so it feels darker and it has that spooky and frightful feeling to it as well that I was going for. I also tweaked a little bit the color balance and the temperatures of the colors so they complement each other better than what I actually laid out for in the beginning. I wanted the orange from the background to actually feel warmer than the inside of the cave that has the blue light and I wanted that blue light to actually feel a little bit colder. 
everything in this drawing just wrapped up so well and just felt natural to do. It was real fun to do it and I hope you guys liked it because I really enjoyed doing it. And here you go and check out the finalized drawing.